Hi, I'm Dr. Alex Torres, the program director at Humanities Amped. And today we're gonna do a poetry writing workshop together titled Transform Yourself to Transform the World. We are at the Makers Fair today, so what a better time to write a poem together. A little background on us. So Humanities Amped was made and founded by Destiny Cooper and Anna West when they were co-teaching together with a small class of 25 students. They were really thinking about how we could make classroom classroom spaces better. How could it be more humane? So today we are a network of almost 500 um, students in middle schools and high schools in Baton Rouge. We really believe that it is possible to transform public schools from inside out, especially when the voices of the people inside those schools are listening, listened to, especially those students and the teachers and the communities. Our vision is to build an innovative and dynamic community of lifelong learners and civic leaders. And our mission is to advance transformative learning in public schools so that every educator and youth is engaged and empowered for success. So again, we want to make schools more human centered and we do that by amplifying well being. We don't think that you can learn if you're not doing well, if you're too stressed out, if you're not getting the help that you need to process what you need. You, we need, need to be well in order to learn. That's why we try to make sure that we have trauma-informed and healing-centered approaches in our lessons and in the work that we do with students. We also believe in amplifying critical literacy, which means that we want students to think critically and analyze themselves and the world around them. We really do believe that there's more to students than seeing them as test scores. They are the ones that can think critically about solving real life problems in their communities. So we give them the literacy skills and research skills to be able to think through what are some possible solutions to the problems that I see affecting me in my day to day. That's why we also amplify community-minded problem solving, because we don't think that youth are problems to be solved. We think that they are problem solvers. So again, if they are well, and if they have the critical literacy and the skills and tools necessary, they can transform the world around them. So when you make schools a little bit more human centered, we found that students actually want to come to class. And if you come to class, then you do better in terms of graduation rates. And, in, and even though we don't focus on testing, if you are thinking more critically and are showing up to class, you do a little bit better on state testing too. So these are the outcomes that come from making schools more human centered. But again, it's such a huge task to think about how do we make schools what we know they can be? Or how can we make so many different systems that could do a lot more? How, how could we even imagine what it could be like? But that's the thing, right? In order to transform a system or a school or transform yourself as a person, to bring that something into existence, you first have to dream it. You have to envision it. You have to imagine what it could be. But you also kind of have to stay grounded in the situation that you're in. So you have to do both, which I think is what Bill Ayers really says in this quote. It's living with one foot in the mud and muck of the world as it is, while another foot strides forward towards a world that could be. You need both pieces, right? You need to be able to be grounded and know 
deeply what is happening in your current context, but you also need to feel like you can dream about what it could be, what it could be in a better world. So in this workshop, we will imagine what that world could be. What would be your ideal world? And we're gonna write about that vision and we can do it in poetry style. Don't worry, it doesn't have to rhyme. It can just be your beautiful thoughts. And we want you to have fun. So those are the three main goals in this workshop. Imagining what the world can be, writing about that vision and having fun in the process. So let's get started. But yeah, let's have a few rules. Again, I really wanna emphasize the fun part. Let's have fun with it. This doesn't have to be perfect. It just needs to be your words and your voice matters and your language matters. So if you wanna write it in a different language, if you know multiple languages, if you wanna mix up those languages, now's your time. So you can write in any language that you want. No judgment, no mistakes. Go ahead and throw away that perfectionism for the next few minutes. It doesn't have to be perfect. Don't judge yourself. If a mistake happens, get creative with it. Or just don't think about it that way. Again, focus more on the fun. Don't judge yourself right now. Speak your truth, you know? What do you think the world should look like? We're not looking at someone else's opinion. We want your thoughts, your truth, and share if you want to. So we'll share some opportunities for you to share your work with us. And just a quick side note and a shout out to our friends from Andover Breadloaf Network. Uh, these are some of the rules that they have for their writing workshops. But before we go off and write our own, let's look at an example text together. So this poem is I Dream a World by Langston Hughes. Okay, so I'm gonna read it for us. I dream a world where man no other man will scorn, where love will bless the earth and peace its paths adorn. I dream a world where all will know sweet freedom's way, where greed no longer saps the soul, nor avarice blights our day. A world I dream where black or white, whatever race you be, will share the bounties of the earth and every man is free. Where wretchedness will hang its head and joy like a pearl attends the needs of all mankind. Of such, I dream my world. So let's sit with this poem for a minute. Maybe pause it again. Pause this video if you want to spend a little bit more time with it. But think through it. What stands out to you? Are there any words here that are really, really standing out to you as you read it? I love the word peace in this world, in this, in this poem. And that image of a pearl. Those are some of the words that stand out to me. But what, what about you? Which words stand out? Also, think about what words relate to your experiences. He uses the word sweet freedom. Have, ever, have you ever had an experience where you feel sweet freedom or this idea of love blessing the earth 
what would that be like? So think about your experiences or what you would like to experience in a perfect world. So yeah, what would you like to see in, ideal, in an ideal world? What would you see? What would you feel? What would you do? What would other people around you do? What, what would it be like, your world? So now let's have some time to brainstorm. You know, if it helps you to jot down some ideas, write down a few phrases or words about what you would like to see in an ideal world. Again, feel free to pause this video and then we can pick up after you've done some brainstorming. So go ahead, pause if you need to. All right, I hope you took an opportunity to pause the video and do some quick brainstorming if that kind of helps. But now that you've done a little brainstorming, let's write. And you can start off in the same way in terms of I dream a world where, and then just keep repeating that sentence starter until you fill up your poem. So you can just say, I dream a world where, and you can fill in the blanks. Do you dream a world where education is, is joyful? Do you dream a world where there is no poverty, where resources are equally distributed? Do you dream a world where everyone feels happy? Do you dream a world where everyone's needs are met? Or maybe everybody gets to eat ice cream all the time. I don't know. What does your ideal world look like? So go ahead, pause this video for real this time and set an eight minute timer. And just write, write until the timer goes off. So again, pause this video and write for the next eight minutes. Alrighty, I hope you had a wonderful writing session. I hope that you took the time to write and maybe you even went over time and you're just, did it right for just eight minutes, you wrote for 15 minutes or 20 minutes, I don't know. It's a beautiful prompt to sit there. Uh, it's, it's beautiful to think about what the world would be. I know that I dream a world where education is meaningful, where schools are community centers, where students and teachers feel safe and appreciated and can show up and be celebrated as their full selves. So if you want to share your poems with us, and I would love to read what you wrote, um, go ahead and you can email that to us at connect at humanitiesamp.com. You can also connect with us in other ways. You can visit our website at humanitiesamped.com to explore curriculum, get involved, donate. Um, you can, you know, see what's happening on our social media. Here is um, our handles for Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. Um, or again, just reach out to us via email and we'll, we'll get back to you as soon as we can. So keep dreaming, keep writing, and keep transforming yourself so that you can transform the world around you. Thank you so much.